let's do this. We had our 2012 battle, that was like the actual final battle where I just died, I just left. And well the reason behind that was I saw my crew like really flourish and everyone was getting really really great at their moves and everything and I was pretty much out of practice so I'm the one to blame for that. However, I felt like initially I was kind of holding them back, you know, I was like the fifth wheel on a four wheel car, you know what I'm saying? I was just like an extra tire that just wanted to be used as a spare when something wasn't right. I do kind of know like uh, in a nutshell, there was something going on in the back end, like a lot of people were not in their headspace and stuff. so. There was a lot of um, chaos going on, right? And if I speak for myself, I personally, you know, just felt like I wasn't cut out. Cut out in a, in a manner that I wasn't up to the mark, right? Like the moves that they had versus the moves that I had, maybe if I was better, maybe we could have won it. So I took it pretty hard on myself, I guess. I'm like, Years from now, when I look back, I kind of feel like I was the weak link in that crew. Would it have been like Donald or maybe someone else, someone better than me? Maybe we could have just won it by an inch or a mile. Who knows? But I, that day, I took it pretty hard myself, man. And, well, I just didn't feel the part. And that's when I kind of decided that, hey, I don't want to hold you guys back, man. So I kind of went up to Duane and I told him, hey, I, I don't want to do this no more. I, I don't want to hold you back. You're better off without me. And and I'm sure y'all will flourish even more. Though I wanted to be the best that I could be, but hey, shit happens, right? All I remember is we walk downstairs and Laddie is standing like with us and he tells Dwayne he was a little aggravated. I I don't know if he had, if he remembers it or not. I, I have pretty good memory so I remember that he was pretty aggravated and he, he told Dwayne that uh, at the time me and Brian weren't aggravated. I think uh, I'll speak for myself. I was just a little disappointed that I lost. I, like I didn't know what losing was prior to that day. So that was the first time I lost. And because uh, I lost both, I lost in the solos in the semi finals and I lost uh, in the crew finals as well. So we lost, and Larry's like, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. I remember his specific words. I'm not uh, specifically, he said that I'm not here, I'm not going to keep coming back here to make a fool out of myself. And I was in my head, I was like, What are you talking about? You're like, you're like, even better than us sometimes. But uh, that was it after that, Larry. He did a Cinder Jet with us in 2013, but he wasn't really part of the crew. No, we didn't take him as a crew member. He was just a friend, someone we didn't mind having around. Yeah. And uh, that's when I think after that loss, you know, Larry took it upon himself. That, uh, he felt kind of demotivated that, you know, that it was not the winning streak anymore. And or whether, it, you know, he, he just felt like he was not up to, ready to evolve. And he backed up. And he didn't feel like doing it anymore. And I think that was maybe a sour decision of his. Or maybe, you know, just a factor of him being demotivated. Because it's it was a fact. We all got very demotivated after we lost. And then with the whole Donald and Kyle rivalry going on in our crew. We, were, we had a lot of, we were imploding from inside. And that's where I think, you know, it just, it didn't make sense anymore. And Larry stepped out. He said, you know, I'm done. He went about his business, he got back into his work, got back into his, you know, his drug reign with his friends. Not drug reign, sorry, I don't mean to call you a charsi rally. But 
you know he started you know excessively going back to that lifestyle that he, you know he was uh, you know into and we just didn't see how we could pull him out anymore because we were so focused on ourselves and that's our fault that is as a crew we should have been there for him as a crew we should have you know been standing by him as a brother but i think we just got selfish after 2012 and you know things didn't just make sense anymore to try and you know focus on each other we were just all about ourselves at that time mm-hmm.